I've had a lot of people over the years ask me about how to communicate with a loved one or a friend who's passed recently. And oftentimes they're wanting to know, is that person okay? Was it uh, a mistake that they went when they did or that they're missing out? And also, how can they communicate with this person themselves if they want to? So uh, let's talk about those three things. So when we're planning our life before we're born, we consciously choose as spirits, like here are the, here's the date that I want to be born. Here's kind of the people that I'm going to be interacting with. Here's kind of the major events that have the possibility to play out in my life. But we also choose some, what I call exit doors. So here's a, here's a few times over the years that I may choose to leave. If my spirit is feeling like it's time to go, or there's something else that's, that's drawing me, I may choose to leave this life at one of those exit doors. Now it's, it's fascinating to me because when I used to do readings for people, I looked at this for many people and I never saw anyone who passed at a random or surprising time as a spirit. Everybody went along and passed away at one of these predetermined exit doors they had chosen when they were, you know, before they were born. And so if you've had somebody pass away recently, sometimes it helps just to know this, that uh, as shocking as it is to us that are here and as surprising as it may seem, you know, if it was an accident or the, the timing was a big surprise, that they're still following their soul's plan in some way. They're, they had chosen before they were born that uh, this date is one that they could leave on. Doesn't mean that they had to, that it was predetermined, but they had the option to go at this particular time. So the, the second thing is, you know, if you're wondering how your loved one is doing or your friend is doing, that somebody that's passed, uh, the best thing to do is to simply kind of uh, close your eyes, go within, and just imagine saying hello to that person. You can't imagine it from your crown chakra right here. You're just sending a hello from your crown out to your friend, to your loved one who passed. And just from your heart, energetically, just say hello, you know, from your heart and from your crown chakra. And sometimes you'll feel a little sense of that person, that they're still there, they're still around, or it may just feel like you're sending, but you're not aware if they're receiving or not. Either way is totally okay. And at this point, I recommend just uh, sending love, just saying anything that you need to say, you can share any concerns you have, ask them how they are. And in general, just come from this space of love, of uh, sharing with your, your friends, sharing with your loved one, even though they're not here in the body anymore. And what I've found over the years, uh, people that have, have done this exercise feel that they're able to really connect with the person. So even if they don't hear the words, uh, you get this sense that uh, the person is still here. They're still around in some way you know, around the, the people and the places that they were when they're alive. And this is what I've seen energetically, that after we die, we tend to spend some time, it can be days or months or longer, everybody's different, around the people and places that we love, kind of finishing up the energy and taking advantage of that opportunity of being out of the body, out of the regular kind of time space uh, rules that we have in the body and being able to do a little cleanup energetically and have a little bit of completion. So people do tend to, to, to stick around for a bit. And uh, if you've had somebody pass, you've probably felt this yourself, where at some point it feels like, oh, I don't know why, but they're not really here anymore. You know, I remember this with my, my grandpa. It feels like grandpa's not around anymore. And then sure enough, if I tune in, ah, oh, that's because they've, they've finished and passed on. <laughs> they've kind of taken that next step out of the body is the first step, and then sort of out of this, uh, this realm, if you will and onto their, their next things. So really easy. And let's see, so, and the third thing is, if you're, if you're wanting to do healing, like say you've got somebody that died in a surprising way or maybe took their own life and you're concerned about that person, again, just come from the place of love instead of fear. So just know, again, they're, they're following their soul's plan, even if the way that it happened doesn't seem like the way you think they would have chosen, the way that you would have chosen for them. So come from that perspective of love and, and just imagine them in the light. This is kind of the simplest, simplest imagination that you can do for healing. Just imagine that they're in the light, that they're safe, that they're protected, that they're connected with their guides and their source and everything they need for their next steps in life. 
And if you can, just you know, let yourself uh, release any place where you're holding on any kind of any judgment or fear or attachment to what has happened or what will happen with them. I know this is really hard to do, but uh, if you can do that, it'll help you, it'll help them, and the energy will just unfold a little bit more smoothly than before. So hopefully that helps. If you've had somebody pass recently, um, you know, I, I feel for your loss and I hope that uh, this will help you find a little peace.